Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the review of the Nissan Maxima SR. Before we move on, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the bell icon and also uh, make sure to keep the alerts on and all the notifications so that you do not miss out any of my videos. They are very interesting, trust me. So now starting from the front, the whole design ideology is apparently from a V-shaped design. The basic design of the entire front has been based on the V design. You get the chrome garnishing, you get the black grille and you get a big chunky Nissan logo. There is a camera. This comes with a 360 degree camera system. We're going to come to that. So this gets a camera system as well, which is mounted just here, a tiny little one, very, very unnoticeable when you see it from a normal angle. And these lights are full LED headlights as well. These are in the boomerang shaped design as well. Even your fog lamps are uh, LED, uh, LEDs as well. And also this is sort of a fake grill. So yeah there is there's nothing much in that uh, there's also a chrome strip at the bottom as well and even there are like uh, design hunches as well on, on on the bonnet itself when you see and when you sit from inside and see that the, the the bonnet is quite raised and it's quite visible the gap in from inside the the cabin as well while you're driving so the basic difference between the um, uh, i'm pretty sure you're confused between the basic difference between the ultima and the maxima because they seem to be very similar but you may be forgiven for that but the real difference is that the maxima is a performance based but a premium sort of version of the ultima and the ultima is a more economical and a day-to-day -day use car so the ultima ultima comes with a 2.5 liter engine petrol and this one comes with a 3.5 liter v6 engine and the ultima v4 on the sides you get 19 inch aluminum uh, cut alloy rims and you can also see the hunch that goes all the way till the back this 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 whole line that continues till the back and also i'll be coming to the back so uh, the the side mirrors have the camera system at the bottom and also the led turn signal and they have the auto dimming feature you also get the chrome bordering on your door frames just at the bottom but not on the top so that looks pretty good in 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 my opinion and also the chrome the handles as well the design continues with this elegant really nice looking black strip that continues till the back glass and even the chrome strip which continues also the position to get in and out of the car is pretty easy because of the car being a little low then usually something is different but it's quite uh, easier to get in and out of the car and at the back you get these tail lights again similar to the ultima so in the back you get the led tail light cluster complete cluster is led your maximum badging nissan badging and also a chrome strip at the at the back as well and also a spoiler which increases slightly your downforce at the back as well your parking sensor and a camera as well but at the bottom you get the quad tip exhaust system and uh, these quad tips are blacked out they make the, the whole back look really sporty as well but then here's the thing this is just a hole there is no exhaust tip actually so it's only in in reality there's only there are only two exhausts but then they've been made into a quad tip like two on both sides so now let's check out the boot as well so the boot size is 405 liters which is pretty enough for your two big bags to just go in and also the seats are collapsible the front seats in a ratio of 60 to 40 you can collapse the seats as well and the, the floor is actually a little raised and that is the reason there is very minimum amount of uh, uh, space that you can see there's also a big fat lip out here but also the car is a little low compared to the usual one so that is going to make things a little easier for your luggage to take it in and out of it now inside is something where you should be in this car because gosh this car is so amazingly well made like there is fit and finish and quality in every single part or whatever you see in this cockpit so starting off with the door cards and the dashboard and also this central uh, this this uh, handrest and everything even the seats and all of that is covered in leather even your steering wheel with this orange stitching and this is actually orange stitching and not just fake plastic trim something that they put up no it's a real stitching uh, but continuing in the dashboard you get this really now the dashboard has this amazing clear screen your multi-information display screen which shows you all the details that you can change from the 
screen out here and also the buttons are pretty straightforward and which is very nissan like like everything has a button and everything is very simple so the screen is so clear even the whole console is so clear like you can see every single thing even in the bright daylight like you would be you would be actually fooled to you know the misunderstand that there was no glass in front of it but there is a glass but then it just doesn't reflect at all the steering wheel is pretty nicely made it's a stereo the uh, telescopic uh, steering wheel as well so you can raise it lower it or uh, whatever the 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 position you want you can set it flappy paddles gearbox and also you have the cruise control the adaptive cruise control in this car you get and also the uh, infotainment control system and also the the whole quality of the car is pretty amazing even in the center console you get this nice uh, little the gear lever and the driving position is pretty nice even the start stop button out here has been bordered around with uh, with this nice plastic and chrome touch even on the steering wheel you have the chrome inserts everywhere the bordering and on the switches and the, the switches they, they they give you a very nice feel and also there is this dial at the to control your infotainment system and there is a sport setting the seats are super comfortable and they are just amazing and they come in this tan in tan colored leather and also this uh, diamond quilting design that is there in 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 parts in between but otherwise the the driver and the passenger seats are electronically adjustable eight way electronically adjustable but the driver seat ha uh, has this extra cushion which you can extend uh, to support your thigh at the bottom as well and apart from that the seats are also uh, ventilated seats so you can heat or cool them and cooling is something which you really need in UAE during the summer season and this is a very neat feature that they've given coming to the aircon so the aircon has a pretty simple function which is straightforward your on off your fan mode the different modes of your AC and it's a dual uh, climate control so the passengers and the driver both can control their own uh, set of AC controls and ap apart from that there's a there's a very clean uh, interface that they made for the aircon as well and you get the straightforward information of what is the temperature and everything the next is the infotainment screen which is your 8 inch uh, matte finish TFT screen and around that you would find buttons again very easy to navigate the whole system in this because it's everything has a button for it even your cameras has a big big button that has been given if you want to switch on the camera your maps your audio and the connectivity options that you get are bluetooth apple carplay augs even android auto and fm then cd also you get yes and there is a usb system as well and also there is nissan connect as well which you can use to connect your phone but the the, the quality of screen is pretty good there is uh, there is a little bit of a choppiness i would say and also the resolution needs to be a little improved but it's pretty snappy but the navigation there is an inbuilt navigation but it's a little slow to my liking i mean it's pretty straight forward mind you that you know you just have to put an address and then you can directly search the 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 address that you want to go to that's pretty straightforward a very clean interface clean interface is something which is really good on this this whole system the music system in this being powered by both so it's got 11 speaker music system and it sounds fantastic and in terms of charging you get uh, two usb ports in the front and also one um, 120 watt uh, charging cable in the handrest as well and also uh, two usb cable charging in the back as well and apart from that in terms of storage you get storage in the in the door bins uh, which is very small in fact like half a liter of bottle on both the sides and even in the back you get two cup holders out here you get your glove box and also the handrest handrest is something which is really big and 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 it can fit like a proper liter of a bottle now apart from this you also get this amazing pan sort of panoramic sunroof because it's a, it's a two-part sunroof one for the rear passenger and one for the front for the rear passengers the sunroof won't open up but there is a glass and there is a cover which will roll into the center and also from the front the the cover would roll in the center as well the front glass 
can open up but not the rear ones apart from this you also get a sporty metal pedals as well and also for the rear passengers you get the rear blinder as well so you can press this button to put the blinders on and also there is no visibility hampering when you put that on and also you can put that down using the button given out here so the leather treatment continues at the back as well you get the tan colored leather seats in the back with this diamond quilt design on both of them as well but there is this center hunch in the in the in the third uh, seat uh, and let me demonstrate you how much is the height when you sit on it and you can see my head is already hitting on it and i am just a little shy of six feet and then my head is already touching the roof so well, you might want to avoid being that third person in the journey so but otherwise if you are the third and the fourth passenger but not the fifth one so you have a very comfortable seat in the back with enough of decent amount of headroom on top and also the leg room and also enough of room for your feet to go under the seat and these seats are all the way uh, stretched till the back so you can figure out how much there is uh, leg space as well and also the interior quality is pretty good the shoulder line for the windows is pretty nice and there is a sunroof in case you want to just glare at the sky and there is also a hand rest as well with two cup holders and some phone holder as well you also get the twin ac vents in the back as well but then you can just control it using an on and off switch like a like a dial which with which you can just control the flow of air in it and also apart from that you also get the child isofix points for your uh, the, your child seat and these points are clearly marked on both the seats and also the, the hooks which are protruding out from the seat uh, have been colored into red color so you can easily figure them out and also quite accessible and and you know pretty easier to use in an everyday use <laughs> So the grunt that you heard was from a 3.5 liter V6 engine that produces 300 uh, brake horsepower and at my disposal I have 353 newton meters of torque but if you ask me it's quite sufficient enough of power for this particular model although this model sometimes feels a little on the heavier side but otherwise it's it's the engine is quite enough and also this this engine is mated to uh, a cvt transmission which is the xtronic cvt transmission nissan basically has all all, all their cars from uh, ultima to this all in the cvt transmission and they they seem to have cracked the transmission game quite well but the only and the only concern is that it sometimes takes a little while for the car to react and so the only and only issue that i found was that this car lacks a bit of response initially when you press the throttle and that is also to do with the fact that the accelerator has a very long travel so initially there isn't much that happens when you press the throttle but then all of a sudden later on the, 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 it just just comes to life and then uh, the engine just shoots up its rpm and then it tries to match with the cvt as well and then there is this instant surge of power but let me demonstrate you what happens so this is just the normal pedal and then it takes a, a second or two to just react to my command but then once it does that oof, it's just amazing the pedal shifts are pretty nice as well so the grunt is pretty amazing now the suspension setup is because this is a very sporty version so the suspend and it's to do with the performance as well so the suspension setup is on the harder side but the ride isn't harder in general your ride is going to be pretty smooth uh, because of these seats are comfortable but uh, as a result of that there's very minimum amount of roll that you would find on this car next coming to the steering wheel the, the steering wheel is a hydroelectric steering now that is just plainly to say that this has got an hydraulic steering and that that i to be honest i'm pretty happy about it because electronic steering tends to remove that that sensitivity or, or, or you know the feedback from the surface which this car uh, typically gives you from the surface because it's got a hydraulic steering uh, uh, as well so the steering itself is pretty nice and pretty sharp brakes 
are pretty damn good and like for this breaks and then when you want to come to a break oh my god everything is falling off so yes the brakes are pretty nice and and apart from that the whole ride quality is pretty good the nvh levels are kept in check even when you're cruising uh, at about 120 the the wind washing is very very minimum in fact there is nothing i didn't find anything the whole quality of it is pretty robust i i i like the fact that they made the the, the steering wheel in this two-tone design as well in terms of safety system this car comes with a lot of it in fact i may miss a lot of safety systems but i am going to be putting it on the screen so the, you can just check them out so to start off with you get dual passenger and driver airbag and also curtain airbags and also side airbags as well and you get your electronic brake distribution electronic brake assist you get your abs you also get the intelligent park uh, uh, the the lane assist system for for this car so this car will help you to keep in the lane just like your volvos and all of that stuff which is available in this car as well you got adaptive cruise control you also got a 360 camera system although hmm, the 360 camera system is a it's very choppy to be honest with you because i was expecting the camera to be of a little better quality but because the screen has that thing it's just about the cameras which need a little bit of work the camera systems will also assist you when you are very close to a car there's also a blind spot warning system as well there are lots of features that that are available on this car so this car is packed with the safety features so this car is priced at 160,000 this particular model 160,500 and if you if you ask me this this price is slightly on the high, higher side but it justifies for all the comfort features that you get inside and also the performance features that you get out of this car so the 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 price is pretty justified i would say if you are looking to get this particular model because ah the seats are very comfortable the ride itself is very comfortable this this car delivers an average of 12.8 uh, kilometers per liter which is not too bad for an everyday use although i've be, i've managed to get around 10 to 11 up till now but i think 12 is quite achievable from an engine this big not bad so if i had to sum up this car i think i i would just overall give this car a 3.5 a more detailed uh, uh, num uh rating system will be on your screen right now but i would give an overall 3.5 out of 5 for this car because this is just a very nice car if you are looking for something between a performance and the premium segment and the luxury as well so that was an in-depth review video of the nissan maxima sr now if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to my channel click here and if you want to watch more videos click here anyways until we meet next time bye bye